scheduled for the championship distance of 12. How do you define consistency when you describe the fact that among this matchup, you're looking for guys to be more consistent. Which guy's going to be more consistent? How do you define it? Just in one area. When they get inside, for example, Joe, every once in a while, somebody takes a little bit of a break. Yeah, there's working, but all of a sudden, one guy's arm goes behind the other guy. I'm looking to see who keeps both hands free. Good, strong combo. Precision work with the left hand by Joe Frazier. Good block. Frazier's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be. Now that counter punch landed with some success. Frazier's crushed by a big right hand. Teddy, I think he's solid. He just went down. The in fighter went out, and now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. Frazier's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. And now he scores with that left to the body. Frazier's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. Good job snapping out that jab. You know, if you're watching Muhammad Ali, you know you need a jab to move on the outside. But if you're coming forward, you need a jab, and there's proof of it. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Joe's not that shy about bringing it early on, but what can we expect here? Bringing it early on. <laughs> that's exactly what you're going to expect, and that's what you're going to get. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Let's see some more head. Very nice defensive guard there. Good combination. Hook into the body with the left, and then going up top with the right. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Good looking. Big, big shot comes crashing home. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Unbelievable display of power here. A first-round knockout, Teddy. That's what happens when you don't warm up well. All right, keep busy out there. So we are underway here. Round one, scheduled for 12. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Teddy, what kind of a pace of a fight do you think we're going to get tonight? A lot of action here between these two, a power puncher against an in-fighter. I think, Joe, in the perspective of the inside fighter, he doesn't want it to be a fast pace. You know, if you're wearing a nice leather jacket, you don't want to be in a rainstorm. You'd rather drizzle. And of course, you got a guy throwing hard punches. You don't want a heavy rain. I think the inside fighter is going to want to keep it controlled. Committing well now to that left hand over the top. Able to land with the right. Frazier's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Protecting his head well with his guard. Solid hook. Good right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Solid right by Joe Frazier. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. <laughs> Frazier stunned by a big shot. <laughs> Hold on to him. <laughs> oh, he 
always a treat to see Joe Frazier in action. He would be an all-time great no matter what era he fought in. Unfortunately, his career paralleling the era of Muhammad Ali and really defined by that yin and yang, that teeter-totter of him and Ali. Fred Astaire would say, fortunately, Ginger Rogers was around because he had a partner. Ali was that partner that helps him find Frazier. So accurate and powerful is Joe Frazier with that hook. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. Frazier's right hand working well that time. He scored well. And he scores well. A three-punch combo by Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier's left, landing well. Good job snapping out that jab. You know, if you're watching Muhammad Ali, you know you need a jab to move on the outside. But if you're coming forward, you need a jab, and there's proof of it. So the round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas sitting with you ringside. I know you had a very busy week before you flew here out to broadcast this fight, doing your charitable contributions back in Staten Island with the Dr. Theodore Atlas Foundation. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Joe. We did well. We had our dinner, our yearly dinner, where we're able to raise money to help people that are in need, people that have nowhere else to go for help, whether it's a mother that can't pay the cancer treatment for a seven-year-old daughter, and we're able to pick up that insurance. But the thing that I want to take a second to thank everybody for is that it's a collective effort. It's all the people that allow us the resources to go out there and help those people. Frazier's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Good step back counter punch there. Not able to land the headshot. Up top with a quick hook. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Come on, kid, focus. And he ties up on the inside. How about that left hand? Hits him in the mug with the right. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Frazier's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Joe Frazier scoring with that right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. A little something of his own. Blocks the shot, brings back the uppercut. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. What a high-grade power punch by Joe Frazier. Not an accurate hook at all. Up top with the right hand. Very accurate two-punch combo by Joe Frazier. Final minute of this round that has been nothing but two straight minutes of non-stop fury. Fasten your seatbelt. More turbulence ahead. Wow! He just fought the other guy's fight, and now not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, get up. nine. Get up, get up. Joe Frazier going to try to get himself right back in this fight again after being knocked down. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Get in, 
Little head hunting with the left. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. End of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. You clear his head, and you tell him why he was dropped. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. That was that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Deep breath for me. You're in control. Frazier's coming off of a round where he was just dropped. Now he's got to go back out there. What's the mentality, Teddy? Well, right now, what he's got to do is buy some time. you got to be one of those time buyers. You know, you go out there and you say, you know, I want to be able to get, you know, a little bit of space here. You want to grab. You want to move. Anything. You can't worry about winning this round. That's gone all right. Survive the round. Get your head clear. You're going to win the other round. Scores with the uppercut. Scores big with the hook to the head. Relax, relax. Come on. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. High grade jab there by Joe Frazier. Frazier's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. That's it. That's it. Now hugging on the inside. leveled how could he possibly get up from that he's not going to this fight's over it's over ahead of him here round one of 12 scoring well with that combination by Joe Frazier he scored well after being hit himself many may believe that in a matchup like this power puncher versus power puncher that he who has more power wins but in a way, is it as simple as saying he who has more fundamentals wins? Yes, absolutely. He who has a missile to get that ball. Oh, what a left hand. He's in bad shape. Maybe a punch or two more, and he's on the canvas. Teddy, what does he need to think about now? Well, one of the things that he can't think about, he'd love to run away. <laughs> he'd love to get away from what's hurting him. His legs are not solid enough, so he's going to have to find a way to tie up. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Let it go. Solid left hand to the head. Able to land with the right. Halfway through this round. Oh, hands up. Joe Frazier's feeling the impact of that powerful hook. He comes with the straight right hand. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Well, he really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. And you see how he just set the table for that right hand after the jab. Protect yourself! That's a good block by Joe Frazier. 
able to land the jab. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they could get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. Good fundamental work landing the one-two there. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to punch, know that range. Punch. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Ten seconds remaining in this round. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. So the round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy here ringside, and we've been enjoying sitting ringside because, Teddy, I know you have some of your fine guests from the Dr. Theodore Atlas Charitable Foundation with us here tonight. And they're having a great night, and it's great to have them here. The thing that I want to say is thank you to all the people that help us help many. They trust us. They allow us to be the middleman to give out the resources where they're needed. Thank you for mentioning jab, jab, Joe, and right. thank you to all the people that help see. us do what we one, do. One, two, all night long. So here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Nice work with the overhand right. Nice work, great technique. The combo lands. Frazier's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Teddy, we always expect Frazier to test the other guy's chin, but what about his chin? His Use chin has been very Use good, the but ring. the thing that you got to realize is when you're banging at a wall, banging and banging with a hammer, sooner or later that wall starts to chip. Is tonight the night that Frazier's wall starts to chip? Good accuracy with that uppercut. And bang, and away he goes, able to land that power punch. Trying to force his way in that front door, and he got smacked with that door. Now, this is impressive stuff right here because he's showing us that he can counter his opponent perfectly. And you don't have to be a big banger when you're a good counter puncher because now you're catching the guy coming in, and you're catching him real clean. So you're going to be really effective. Halfway through this round here. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. Frazier's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Oh, what an exchange. You had to see it to believe it the first two minutes of these rounds. Now these fighters are trying to make everybody a believer in the final 60 seconds. And this is why you understand the dimension of this sport like no other sport. At the end of this, how both participants will have mutual great respect for each other. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Joe Frazier. Committing to the combo now, both land. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. Blocks it away. Final 10 seconds. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Good step back counterpunch there. 
Frazier is going to really regret when he hears the scorecards read because he lost that last round just based on defensive laziness. Well, you can always make comparisons, analogies. You watch a basketball game, you say, you know what, this team, Joe, is losing because they're not rebounding, they're not boxing out underneath the boards. Well, guess what? They weren't taught how to do that. You have to know how to do that. He's not going to start showing you defense if he doesn't know how. He does not know how. He has not been taught. Number three is underway. Looks to the head. Locks that belt line well. And he returns on that exchange. He's winning the fight to me based on his overall speed. He's just the faster, quicker fighter, and it's making it so that he's able to employ his ways and get the best of his opponent. Oh, he has that physical asset, no doubt about it. You can see it. But he has to be careful that he doesn't get carried away. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. And now another left. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Joe Frazier. Keep it tight inside. Joe Frazier's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Joe Frazier's right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. Back and forth exchange. Turns over the hook after turning away his opponent's shot. Nice combination, landing more than one. Both were able to score. This is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Come on, kid. Focus. Last 10 seconds of round number three. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Three minutes gone by in this round. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Listen, you need to move your head. Where's your body? Hit the body! Get it! Let's turn this into a fight! The beginning of round four, a chance to look at the scorecards, and Teddy, you like what he's done so far early, a clean sweep of all three rounds. Yeah, a couple of the rounds were close, but on the inside, when both of them had their chance to separate a little bit, he was the one who made the right decision to punch. Scores up top with a left. 
Frazier. He's using that jab well very early on here, Teddy. That could be a big benefit to him tonight. Well, it's supposed to be, Joe. He has a real good wingspan. I mean, he's got those long arms. No better way to put him to use than to use that jab and use that jab at the right distance. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Frazier's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. And now we... Oh, and there you go. Joe Frazier really rocked in time on that power punch that put him down. Joe Frazier's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. And he engages in the clinch. Big uppercut right on the mark. Big, big shot he just scored with. And Smoke and Joe rise up and continue on. One, two, three, four, five. The ref stops the fight. Frazier's a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count.